it's time to level up and do more with your Stream Deck so that you can do things easier and feel confident like a boss. The Stream Deck is one of my favorite and probably most used tools, not only as a content creator, but also in my everyday life when I am down here in my home office slash studio. There are so many different plugins and shortcuts that you can use that'll maximize your productivity and efficiency. So today, we are bringing you five tips that'll happy hack your stream deck like a boss. The first hack we are going to talk about is the Zoom plugin. It seems like Zoom meetings are here to stay and they're not going anywhere anytime soon. So why not make your life easier by muting and unmuting your microphones and toggling your cameras off and on and even leaving that meeting when you're ready with the push of a quick button like a boss. If you don't already have the Zoom plugin installed, let me show you how to do that. Let's go over to the Stream Deck software. This is the Stream Deck software. And if we take a look at the upper right hand corner, I like to call this the little baby Stream Deck. You click on that and that's going to open up the Stream Deck store. If we look over on the left hand side, we have some options right under discover. There is something called plugins. We're going to click on that, go to the upper right hand side and just type in the search zoom. It takes you immediately there. There's some options here. I've been using this first one for years. It's never failed me it's super reliable. So that's what I would recommend you install. I already have mine installed. If you don't have this, you'll have that blue box that says install. Once you're done, we're going to click close on that. Go back to our Stream Deck software itself. And you can see now on the right hand side, there are your Zoom plugins and some options, right? Let's open that up. And all you have to do is basically just drag and drop something to anywhere on your Stream Deck itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mute all participants, drag this over to the upper right hand corner right here. And you can see here, it actually popped up on my Stream Deck software. Super quick, super instant. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that because I went ahead and I customized my Stream Deck already. You can see I have my mute, my camera, I do a good amount of recordings, so I wanted that for a shortcut. And then when I'm ready to go, I just hit leave meeting and it gets me out of there. Also, my icons may look a little bit different than your icons. And that's because I've actually customized these bad boys using LSP's Stream Deck icon pack. If you want to customize your Stream Deck and get it really looking like a boss, be sure to check out the icon pack in the link in the description down below. I do have a Zoom window open right here. If we take note, you can see that I have my mute button. I'm not muted right now. Obviously, my camera is currently on. So what I'm going to do is go to my Stream Deck and let's press the mute button. You can see now it went ahead and it muted me. I'm going to click on that again. Now it unmuted me. We can toggle the camera off and on, right? You can go ahead and do that. And then the same thing when you want to leave this meeting, if you're done, we're going to say, I'm done with the Zoom meeting. I'm out of here. And it closes the Zoom window out super quick super simple. I absolutely love that. Being able to control your smart lights quickly by turning them off and on, adjusting the brightness to either brighter or dimmer, and changing the colors with the push of a button is an absolute must have to hack your stream deck like a boss. Like a boss. You can control a handful of smart lights with your Stream Deck, either with a direct plugin from companies like Philips, Nanoleaf, LifeFX. And if you don't see your specific smart light plugin in the Stream Deck store, then you want to check out and see if the smart lights pair up with the If This Then That 
IFTTT app, and you can actually connect them with the Stream Deck that way. If you wanna see a video on how to integrate your smart lights with If This Then That and then tie it all together with the Stream Deck, check out the video up above or in the link in the description down below. I already have my Philips Wiz lights using If This Then That set up on my Stream Deck right now. You can see I have three buttons currently customized over here. And what I want you to take a look at is a look at my background. Right now, my overhead lights are all off. That's what I currently have set up with the If This Then That plugin. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this button to turn my lights on. It does take a few seconds, but as soon as it registers, you can see that all of my lights turned on within a matter of seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them off. So I'm gonna press that button and it does a nice slow dim. Right, that's super cool, I absolutely love that. And if you wanna set the ambiance and take it a step further, well, I have this red shortcut over here and that just sets the mood for when I wanna set the mood. Organizing your stream deck like by using <laughs> profiles is a great hack to keep you productive by separating your workflow and you can even tie it to a specific application that you frequently use. Let's take a look at our Zoom hack and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. This profile that I created here, you can see that I've called it Stream Deck like a boss. And this is a custom profile just for when I'm, let's say, going to use Zoom. So what you can do is you can go into either add a new profile here or you can edit your profiles. Since I created this custom one, what we're gonna do today is we're going to edit this profile. And you can see right now I have four different profiles. I have default, main, Ecamm Live, and this one that we are currently in. So if I wanna label this and tie this to the Zoom app, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Zoom. I'm gonna rename it to Zoom. And then over here on the right-hand side, you see it says application. Right now there's none assigned. Well, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click on other. It opens up my app box, double click on Zoom. And now this is going to tell the Stream Deck that whenever Zoom is active and in the forefront, it's gonna automatically switch to this specific profile, just like this. So I'm gonna go to my default profile. This is my default profile. Let's close this out and let's go back to the Zoom window. So now you can see I have Zoom open and what that did was on the Stream Deck itself, it automatically changed the profile for me. The fourth hack is what I like to call a sleeper hack because not a lot of people know about it and they are absolutely missing out. Elgato partnered with Storyblocks to bring you royalty-free music that you can add high quality music or sound effects to your content on any platform. Like a boss. Like a boss. We're gonna get back to the Stream Deck store. So we're gonna click on the baby Stream Deck here. And now again, on the left-hand side, we have our bar and you can look at both your music and sound effects. For now, we're just gonna go into music. I'm gonna choose corporate and chill out. You can either preview the songs, you can put the playhead over a specific area and once you find stuff that you like you can just click on download and you can see here it'll download once you have it all we're gonna get back into our configure stream deck options and now on the right hand side you have an option called soundboard there's two options there for playing audio and stopping audio you can just bring that over here and in the middle, you have some choices. So we're gonna click on choose. And these are the sound effects that I've downloaded so far. It'll automatically point to the default for Elgato. So you can double click. And then you have some options for fading in and out. You can control the volume level of how loud you want that to play. 
And then the other thing you have is like looping options. So when you press the button, what do you want it to do? Do you want it to restart? Do you want it to loop? Do you want it to start from where it stopped as you press your button? You can see that it starts playing. I love the visual effects in the background. It shows me how much time is playing, shows me the graphics. And then as I press it again, it stops. What I really like with music is I do take advantage of this fade in and fade out because as I press the button, it just makes it a little bit more abrupt than that hard cut as I press it again now. It's a nice, smoother fade out. The last hack we are bringing you today is multi-actions. This one is a bit more complicated, but once you really understand the power and the potential of creating a multi-action, you'll have leveled up your stream deck like a boss. Like a boss. With the press of just one button, your stream deck can execute any combination of actions, such as opening up applications, setting your lights, turning them off or on, opening up websites, and so much more. So let's take a look at the five hacks we talked about today and throw them into one multi-action. If we look over on the Stream Deck plugins column on the right-hand side, you'll see that there is uh, something called multi-action right here. And all you wanna do is the same thing, just drag and drop to wherever you want. I do have two currently set up, so I built this one out already. I'm gonna show you what it does, and then we're gonna show you how to build that out. So let's double click on it. And you can see here, I have a handful of different things. So with the press of one button, it is gonna go to a website. I'm going to have it switch to the profile that we created for today. It's going to play the song that we downloaded and I want this to open up Zoom. So I'm gonna go to my main profile again. Now you can see my stream deck has opened up and we are on the main profile. I do have the multi-action button here. And let me show you what that looks like by my screen with the press of one button. What that's gonna do is open up the website, turn on my lights, play the music, and open up my Zoom window. And that was all in under what, like five seconds? With the press of just one button, how cool was that? So let me show you how I did that. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this multi-action button here, just replace the one that I had. And all you basically have to do is just choose from the right-hand side, this column, anything that you want your Stream Deck to do. So I'm gonna go into my system options and I want it to open up a website. You can type in the URL of that website. I want it to open up an application. I want it to open up Zoom. I do want it to play the music that we downloaded. So I'm gonna drag that over. Again, customizing that by choosing the music. And then I do want it to set my lights and turn my lights on because I wanna be ready for my Zoom meeting. So a quick hack within a hack bonus is you can actually take your setting and just do copy and paste. So I'm gonna control C this button. I'm gonna go back to this multi-action, come over here and control V and it pasted that. The other one is adding in the profile, going to the custom profile. So we wanted to go to the custom profile that we created. You'll find that under the navigation option, switch profile. So I'm gonna bring that over. I'm going to tell it to open up to the Zoom profile. You can choose which profile you want it to open up to. So let's drag this to the top. That'll be the first thing it does. And that's pretty much it. Now that you've learned how to customize your Stream Deck, let us know in the comments, what are your favorite plugins and shortcuts and what did we miss? If you want to see a showdown comparison of the Stream Deck 
to the Loop Deck Live, be sure to hit that subscribe button to get notifications on when that video is released. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.